Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew from American Musical Supply here at Winter NAM 2019. I'm at the Universal Audio booth with Tom. He's going to talk to us about uh, the recently released Apollo X line of interfaces. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for coming over. So uh, here at NAM 2019, it's the first NAM for our new Apollo X range. So I'm sure you're aware uh, of Apollo. Apollo's been around for quite a number of years now and become the industry standard Thunderbolt recording interface range. Yeah. I suppose the biggest highlight there is that we have processing on board with our U82 platform which allows you to track in real time through plugins and our Unison technology which gives you the modeling of an impedance loading of mic preamps you know from yeah. days of yesteryear and all that classic tone so with Apollo X we've now launched it's really the most comprehensive Thunderbolt audio interface range on the market we have four models of which you can actually cascade together for example with up to four in a system um, and in that range we now have the new X6 as well as the X8 the X8P and the X16 so starting with the X6 it has two Unison mic preamps, so it's now like a, the first rack mount, almost pro project studio or um, write, songwriter's rack mount Apollo studio with two preamps, but six inputs in total, so you can have some synthesizers connected and that kind of thing. That's 1999 US dollars. And then you move on to things like the X8, which give you four Unison preamps, the X8P, which we have here, which is eight preamps, and you can just jump through the eight preamps there. Um, so that's more of your, I want to record drums box, but of course you can cascade them and have four of those for 32 mic amps, etc. And then with the, uh, the X16, we've now got the sort of flagship A to D, D to A converters in the X16 for people with consoles or uh, hardware inserting and analog summing, that kind of thing. But that's really um, the sort of, biggest highlight for Apollo X other than the new X6 model in that range which you know goes from 1999 US dollars to 3499 for the X16 for example that's the sort of price range uh, we've put a huge development into the the conversion stages so by redesigning all the analog buffering and all that sort of stuff in the A to D and D to A we've actually now got the highest spec interfaces on the market right now so we have up to 133 dB of dynamic range which is really near theoretical limit and also the distortion is uh, up to a minus 129 decibels below. So if you think about THD plus noise, that's all of your distortion products, all your hits, any type of noise, 129 decibels below signal, which is incredibly quiet. And the reason that's great for us is that then you've got this incredibly good detailed sound and then you can run through our plugins and track in real time through vintage models. So their, their sort of harmonic content is now applied in its purest form effectively yeah. on a signal that's very clean right. so you're getting we're getting sort of so true to the you know the original hardware we're emulating right. in that sense so that's a really big leap forward for Apollo X yeah. the, the other reason we've managed to get those specifications is we, we now use something called dual crystal clocking okay. so we have a lot of interfaces will just use one crystal to generate the sample rate clocking we now have a pair so we're doing the 44 one and the 48 integers in two different chips. Ah, okay. So for example, 44.1 and 88.2 or, or 48.96 for example, they're now just easily done from the reference sources okay. with a doubling or you know a simple math process, whereas it would have been a very weird uh, you know, integer before. Yeah, yeah. So that means we've actually lowered the jitter in Apollo X by a significant factor. I think it's actually like five or six times lower okay. than previous generations. So when you listen to it, you just hear incredible stereo imaging so it's, it's, it's sort of one of those things where you have to hear you have to hear them. You know, definitely go you know go to AMS and check them out. It's like all the imaging detail, you know, panning, front to back depth, all that resolution, and then you know it's not just the great converters. You then end up with the whole platform with the processing capability as well. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah that was one of the things that I noticed when I had one in the studio for a week or so, and uh, and definitely very familiar with the blackface Apollo sound uh, of the you know the first iteration but then using the XAP could notice the stereo Im imaging was different it was like more it was kind of wider and there was definitely more depth there so that's interesting to know how they did it with the with the chip yeah the, well that's part of it obviously right. there's many well, many right, uh, right, of course many ingredients in the in the stew so the secret it, sauce yeah right. in the secret <laughs> sauce but uh, that's one of the ways you know and so you combine all those things together and all right. that experience now with our you know third generation rack Apollo and we were there in terms of this class leading performance you know um, but we're also showing new features at the, uh, the show. So in the 9.7.1 update, we've also brought out surround sound for the Apollo X. Right. So it's now the first Apollo interface to offer full surround sound monitoring capability. So if you're doing sort of uh, any kind of post-production, movie, you know, Foley, any type of game, game audio, 
or any of the multi-channel immersive formats for, for music release or sound design, then it's now a great solution for, for that. So if you, if you start with the X6, which is the base model in the range, that will do up to 5.1. But if you have the X8, the X8P or the X16, you're into 7.1. So uh, it has a lot of benefits, not just for surround sound listening. So other than the ganged monitor control, which gives you perfect you know, match, matching of surround control, volume, playback. Um, we also have things like solo and mute for the different speakers. So you can check out a mix without the LFE effect, you know, the, 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 the extra sub, for example. Or you can solo the center channel to check dialogue. Um, but we also have a way of calibrating the monitor control into DBSPL. So with an SPL meter, we actually have uh, WAV files on our website in an FAQ you can download to help calibrate your Apollo X. You can then start listening in a calibrated SPL environment if you have a meter. And that will work in stereo too. So if you're used to something like the Bobcats K system, you can actually do a reference listening so you know you're at the ear's flattest range, for example. So it's great for cinema translation, cinema mixing, dubbing stage, but also people who work in stereo. So it's a, it's a bit of an upgrade to the entire monitor section of Apollo, really. Yeah, so that's the surround features. And behind us here, we've actually got a 7.1 playback of the, the artist session where we launched Apollo X in the UK. So we went to Air Studios and actually recorded the London Metropolitan Orchestra with about 50 mics, and uh, along with Two Door Cinema Club, produced by Jack Knife Lee, who's with us at the show. And uh, you can hear this in the artist session video, but at the show you can actually hear that in 7.1 wow. as a, an immersive mix with the orchestra. That's cool. So it's all recorded with Apollo X, and you just hear every little nuance, every bow, every you know little finger on a, a valve on a, on a brass instrument. It's just so detailed. So it's really a great way to show off Apollo X, yeah, you know, right. in that sense. Very cool. Yeah. So that's kind of a great feature for the post guys. We've also, one thing worth mentioning with the X-Series is we've, we've upgraded the power of the DSP. So we now have hexacore processing. So previously you would pick your Apollos based off whether it was duo or quad, for example, and also the IO. But now with hexacore, we have six chips on all in the range. So if you buy an X6 or an X16, you still get hexacore, you get six chips. So it's 50% more processing. That means you can run more plugins on all your inputs, for example, like more on drums, more for a, a whole band setup, for example. Um, and that allows us to then give you the ability to access more plugins that we are always bringing out, for example, like this 9.7 release where we ended up with the new Lexicon for ATL Reverb, which I'm sure you're aware has been, it's like the holy grail of mixed reverbs for the last 30 years. It's the sound of most pop in that sense, and pop vocals particularly. So very shimmery, very lush. So we have now the, the only authorized full Lexicon 480 model on, Very cool. on any platform in the world. Yeah. Yeah, so that's their new vocoder from Softube. We're also showing more boutique guitar amps. Okay. So you can just plug into the front of your Apollo and play through a guitar amp like it's just right there and you're connected to it. Totally. So we have now the PT100 from Pete Thorne, they're all Sir guitar amps we've just brought out. The SE100, they're like modified plexi style, very modern, crunch and clean and, and high gain lead tones, right. very flexible amps. So, you know, we're bringing out a nice breadth of plugins too, in terms of, you know, creative tools, mixing tools, performance Absolutely. tools for musicians. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the platform's always evolving, which is a very cool thing. We're always evolving, yeah. And so, you know, all of this at NAMM makes for a great show for us, you know. Something like the Neve preamp is also recent for us, which you, you may have seen. It's the it's the it's the three stage amplifier that from the ten seventy three, so it's the twelve ninety preamp. So it gives you that sound of the classic Neve record, you know, in terms of the sparkly thick sort of detail you get from it but it's just two knobs so if you're an arrow or an apollo customer like apollo twin for example single songwriters who just want a good pre yeah. or a voiceover guy who wants to you know just get a nice full sound for a, 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 some kind of voice acting the the neve preamp is ideal for this you know but we've also brought out the dfc which is the digital film console from neve so for the post guys you've now got surround up to 7-1 and also the film console that's been used on so many Oscar winning movies and TV series, you can just mix the way you used to mix in, you know, somewhere like Skywalker Sound, for example. Yeah, and plugins wise, we actually recently realized that four out of five Grammy winner, winning artists are using all of our plugins, either on UAD or Apollo. So we're sort of, 
you know, killing the game. Killing the game. That's a great <laughs> phrase. I like, can I use that in my next video? Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then I suppose finally at the show, we're also uh, sort of over here. We're showing the uh, UA Custom Shop for the right. first time. Okay. So we've opened a small batch manufacturing facility in Santa Cruz, which is where we're based. And this is where we're building our all of our hand-built analog gear. So the LA-2A, the 1176, the 6176 channel strip. So we're we're sort of using that as a I suppose a, a pet pet project workshop, but also a place where we can maintain our small batch hand manufacturing. So we obviously have the, the Apollo range and all the plugins, but we're still very true to our craftsmanship roots. And uh, just behind you over there, we're showing a, a hand-built 610 console, which is a personal project from Bill Putnam, where we bought a load of vintage 610 modules from Neil Young, and we're just building a, a one-off console for us to have. You know, so. It's kind of like our little R&D pet project right. facility, but also a, a manufacturing lab. Very cool. So yeah, that's it from UA. So thanks awesome. so much. Well, thanks so much for uh, taking the time and no talking us through all that. And if you're interested in any UA product, Universal Audio product, you can visit AmericanMusical.com. Thanks, Tom. Thank you very much.